Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. We are here today to talk about the big day that's coming up today inside of FIFA 22. It is the day after Christmas, and this is a big day because we have winter wildcard swaps. The rewards are going to be released on the game today. So the 85 times 10 pack is going to be available inside of FIFA Ultimate Team today on this game. Now I want to talk about this, how it's going to impact the market and actually supply a ton of fodder into people's clubs, which I know people that have invested in SBC fodder don't want to hear because right now SBC fodder cards are in the bin in terms of price. Everything SBC related is so cheap, but they're about to supply so many cards into people's clubs, not on the market. These are all in tradable packs getting released today, but I want to talk about that and the mini release is going to be dropping today alongside of potentially some new prime mid uh, icon player SBCs. We'll talk about that as well, but these players here, we kind of know who they are. Of course, the one that everybody cares about is Zlatan right there in the middle. So the mini release is slated to come out today. Yesterday, they did release the entirety of prime icons. Now all primes are in the game. Batch two you got Maradona Ronaldinho Cruyff Hullet is now in packs Eto Prime Vieira um, Dalglish Mateus the second half of Prime Icons are now in packs these guys are of course getting dropped in price because nobody really seems to care about icons that much this year it's crazy crazy but if you like trading with primes there's going to be more rare cards to kind of filter on the market and to search through and to trade with um, and, you know, I just want to talk about how I think this winter wildcard swaps is going to impact the market today. And also a slight note, um, we are not going to have a video tomorrow. It's going to be the first time since the beginning of this game, basically, uh, where we will break the daily upload streak. But that is because a couple traveling things going on with TFA. Uh, so again, I'm going to kind of talk about today on Sunday and also going into Monday a little bit uh, in this video today, if I could ever load into the game. Now, I also want to point your attention to the description as well. If you did not see it in yesterday's video, make sure you check out the giveaway. It ends today. Make sure you check that out in the description. If you're not involved, we're giving away three sets of 12K FIFA points or the dollar amount equivalent um, out to you guys as a way of saying thank you and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and thank you for the support. So let's get into it, right? I want to talk about why this wildcard swaps rewards being dropped today and the 85 plus times 10 is actually going to be very interesting for this game because yesterday on Christmas, we didn't get a party bag. I don't know why EA is holding back on this party bag SBC. It really does not make any sense to me because I feel like that'd be a, a perfect Christmas present thing that they could drop. I still think we're going to get another party bag SBC in the next couple of days. I just don't know when it's going to be. It might be today. It might be throughout this next week. Who knows? But... Uh, I think they overpriced this Coutinho yesterday by about 50 to 60,000 coins. This SBC, even though fodder is stupid cheap on the market, this SBC is coming in at right around 200,000 coins. A lot of people are looking at this card and they're saying, man, why would you do this SBC unless you really love Coutinho um, if you already had the Fakir special card? Because a lot of people, as you can see here, are downvoting this card in terms of stats because... I think a lot of people think this is overpriced and they wanted maybe the five star weak foot on the card or they wanted a little bit better stats. I mean, the plus 18 pace is massive. Only plus one dribbling though, not over 90 dribbling. The card otherwise looks really good, looks really fun. He does have the five star skills, but I think most people are like, nah, I'm not a huge fan of this, but here's where EA is going to trick people into doing this SBC today on this game think about all of the winter wild card sbcs that we have seen recently right orsellini has been stupid cheap right etebo 60k canes and orsellini both are like 30,000 coins ea specifically in my opinion overpriced this coutinho because they know they're going to be able to get a lot of people to turn in fodder for this card because they're giving out a ton of fodder on the market today we see this all the time on this game start to take notice of this because this will happen all the time. Whenever EA is going to be releasing like a pack where 85 times 10 or, you know, icon swaps, when they make that available, usually they overprice SBCs that come out right after icon swaps or right before icon swaps uh, because of the 81, 82, and 83 times 25 packs. Today on FIFA, December 26th, is the first day you're going to be able to attain these winter wildcard swaps rewards. So many people are going to go out, open their 85 plus times 10, especially after you have the brand new mini release 
of the Winter Wildcard Team 2 items put into packs. So there's going to be like 18 promo cards in packs. There's going to be uh, the Team of the Week, which is pretty solid. And there's SBCs that people want to do. So they're going to go in here and they're going to do this 85 plus times 10, right? It's just written in the stars in that way. I mean, some people are going to hold their 85 uh, plus times 10 for later on down the line for like Team of the Year and stuff. Um, but I also think a lot of people are just going to rip it and then they're going to either turn that fodder in for, you know, a Coutinho SBC, maybe they're still going to work through a Pandev or a Tebo, maybe, um, the Awar SBC if they have not completed him, maybe the base or mid icon upgrade if they're wanting to do that SBC, maybe a player of the month. Um, you know, there's a couple POTMs that are out at the moment. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that people could turn that fodder or Vinny Jr., right? This is a, a great opportunity. If you want to do Vinny Jr. Player of the Month, you're 85 times 10 today, which a lot of people are going to get. They're going to have fodder for that. So that's why I think uh, that this is a big day for the fodder market because a lot of people are going to go out and do some SBCs and it's going to supply people with fodder. Now, also, today's going to be more lightning rounds, right? It's a weekend. I do believe even right now, this is the like 2 a.m. UK window, uh, which is when they usually run another set of lightning rounds. They usually run like the 85 plus star packs. And they are running the large rare players combo pack lightning round at the moment. Um, man, they've had these crazy pack plus like a 125k pack and you get a mega pack for free. No wonder this market continually is dropping and the promo players that are in packs are continually dropping because these lightning rounds like almost every hour and then these ultimate pack plus all these like plus packs is crazy how much supply. Uh, that they're putting on this game but that's also keeping fodder really really low in price so to be honest with you this should be one of the last days that we have lightning rounds today and maybe like what maybe wednesday right we had wednesday lightning rounds last week it might be one of the final days to see fodder get super duper supplied as spc fodder is crazy low it's crazy crazy low and we are going to have a headliners promo coming up after this week where there's probably going to be some more SBCs, right? They're probably going to release another Icon SBC. So I know it's like, Nate, why would I want to buy fodder right now? Because it's so cheap and it seems like it's just drilled into the ground in terms of supply. But this is way lower than we ever thought we were going to see SBC fodder. So even if 84 is returned to normal levels of like 3,000 coins, you're making over 1,000 coins a card. I think right now and this weekend, maybe even into this week a little bit, when nobody else is wanting to buy fodder, they're still waiting for it to rise. This fodder is really, really cheap. Like 88 rates for 20,000 coins, 87s for 13K on bid, right? 85s at like 4K on bid and, and 84 rated cards for like 1,500, 1500 coins on bid. This could be an opportunity if you wanted to, to stock up some fodder in your club. I wouldn't really go unassigned. That's not really my sort of thing. Um, but like the, the lightning rounds kind of have to stop and they've been running crazy lightning rounds for this winter wild cards promo. But after this weekend, I think those lightning rounds are gonna slow down and uh, you know, you're still gonna have a lot of SBCs out. So when that supply stops, there's still some demand, you might start to see these prices creep back up into their normal range, right? They might go from their really low spot right now into their normal range. So I would keep an eye out for that. Now, especially with these 85 times 10 packs being opened up today, or maybe other people are going for ultimate packs, rare players pack, the 81 to 89. This is also going to supply the winter wild cards onto this market a little bit. I mean, these guys don't have a super high pack weight, but an 85 times 10 pack, literally every promo card in this team is packable from that from that pack right and the 85 plus times 10 is one of the most beloved packs in this game of fifa since last year uh of course during the summer grind you remember the 85 plus times 10 was literally profit every single time with all the cards that they had released in packs so that's going to be a pack that a lot of people are interested in uh in the coming days with their winter wild card swaps token so you know keep an eye out for these cards as well i think these winter wild cards of course today on sunday might drop down with people worried about this 85 times 10 supplying them untradeable into people's clubs a little bit and you're going to have lightning rounds and you're going to have people finishing the weekend league which might cause a few of these prices to go down a little bit more but what i would really watch for would be a late sunday night or monday morning low point and then some of these cards rising up a little bit into monday 
on this game just because they're very rare, but they're also very in demand. And a lot of people want to use Martial, Alessandrini, Collins. T Tierney is an ins insane left back. One of the best primarily left backs in this game, and he's 50,000 coins. Crazy in terms of price, right? Morales is like the best La Liga striker, in my opinion, in this game, and he's 63,000 coins. Crazy. So I would watch out for that for a little Monday market movement. Um, a couple other things that we could see today. I do believe today is going to be the last man standing, I guess you could call it, for the Winter Wild Cards SBC that we have not seen yet is this Causa SBC, right? A French center back. So beware from your other League One center backs today. Might see a little bit of a drop in price depending on... These are the confirmed stats for this card, I believe. It all depends on the price because I think this card wouldn't be that expensive on the market. He looks good. It really depends on his work rates. It really depends on that agility balance stat on the dribbling. Uh, how much of a boost does he get there? And how cheap is the SBC? I think this SBC, if it's less than like 60, 70,000 coins, people will go ahead and potentially do this with the extra fodder they might get. Other things that we could see today as well, the mid Puyol, mid best and prime Zola SBCs because Sundays in the past have been days where they dropped um, icon player SBC. So I would keep a watch out for this today as well. And, and even as we take a look and kind of think about what's going to happen on Monday, again, as I said, we're kind of covering a two-day range uh, with this video here. The daily player SBCs are stopping after today, right? The Causa SBC, according to the EA menus, the Causa SBC is going to be the last one because it says uh, that daily SBCs are coming, but it ends December 26th. So right, that is today. So Causa is the last one, and this is when the wild card swaps uh, come out. And it kind of the focus switches from the daily SBCs into the wild card swaps. So I don't think they're done dropping tokens yet, of course, because I believe right now there's like 16 or 17 tokens available. And it's been really hard to track some of these. It really has been. Uh, but we still have some more tokens for EA to kind of give out. I would imagine... Uh, that they would, I don't know if they're going to include like the rewards for winter wildcard swaps under the swaps tab because there's already a lot in here with icon swaps and uh, whatever FGS swap stuff this is that really nobody pays attention to. Uh, I wonder if they're going to drop in here or if they're going to give it their own tab. But uh, the tokens to attain for winter wildcard swaps, they've been kind of hard to find. I need to get this SBC done. This was the new one they dropped yesterday, uh, which they gave out a small rare mix players pack and a token. I got to get the draft one done as well. So I'm definitely behind on the tokens. I'm just going to be scraping my way to try to get 15. I haven't paid attention too much uh, by the end when they're all released. Um, but today is when you're, you're going to have the 85 times 10. That's going to be the biggest piece of content on this game today, along with like Zlatan's card getting released on the game with the mini release. That's like the biggest news, in my opinion, for today on Sunday. Now, of course, we talked about the lighting rounds and stuff like that. There's going to be some people you know, involved with that. And the cause of SBC could cause some market movements. Um, but I really think that a lot of this market is going to probably keep just start or keep dropping down in price, a slow drop, right? A slow drop, nothing crazy. Like, but look, look at Mbappe, 1.03 is what I saw this price at today. Mbappe is going to be under a million coins in the next couple of weeks, right? Especially with team of the year on the horizon, with all these packs that they have been releasing, people are going to get worried. Uh, you've got Ronaldo, who is so freaking cheap. Messi's like 300,000 coins. Like, all of these cards are just so cheap. It's actually crazy. Uh, wow, Ronaldo's way less. Why am I typing in 400,000 coins for Ronaldo? He's like 370K. It's crazy. It's crazy how everything on this, on this market, how cheap it's becoming. And it's honestly just going to keep rolling downwards into that team of the year time frame, in my opinion. Now, like I said... I would keep an eye on these cards because one thing to remember about the new winter wild cards from team two is that they're very, very rare. Also, if you guys remember like Modric from last week from winter wild cards team one, the guys that are a part of the mini release today. So like Zlatan, um, I forget who else is in Magnan, I think is in uh, Taremi. There's a couple other names that are in the team today. Some of the most hyped up items, the ones that are the most popular that people want to use, keep an eye on their prices like Sunday night into Monday morning. Um, because they're going to be pretty rare, and especially as Zlatan, people will want to try that card out. So definitely keep an eye on Zlatan's price. I think he's going to be pretty expensive day one. Of course, they're going to run lightning rounds and stuff, but I think he is going to be a pretty, I think he's going to be a pretty, pretty expensive card because the pack weight for these cards is very low. So again, also prime icons. Again, I mentioned this, but they dropped the the new set of these. So if you're trading with some of these cards. 
Um, it's definitely, it's interesting to see how rare they are. And there's some new cards that are out there. And I've seen some other primes that were already on the game from batch one kind of get low in price. And I think that's just because there's new 710 for Rivaldo already. My goodness. All right, that's kind of crazy. That's pretty low. Um, I did not expect to see that price for him on the game but i've seen some other prices today figo 7.99 it seems like this the first set of of uh, primes petite 850 really 760k for petite when you have makalele who is a little bit better but makalele is a, uh, still a good bit more expensive than him carlos alberto i have not looked at a lot of these prices wow i'm gonna have to get involved with these because the brand new primes are going to be rare but they're also Kind of pushing down the prices of the uh, first primes that were out. Patty Vieira, 91. Maradona, there we go. All right, yeah, Crespo Prime out here too. Haji Prime, yeah. So I'm going to have to give myself a little catch up uh, on these prime icon prices. But it just brings more fluctuation to the icon market. So if you're trading with some of these, which I have been recently, um, yesterday, before getting off the game, there was a couple of really good trades that I made with a couple of these cards uh, last night, that's how I got over 6 million coins, a new threshold hit for, for right now this year, going to new heights, I guess you could say. Um, I got this Zambrata on stream yes, two days ago for 600,000 coins on a snipe, sold it for 735. I bought this Makalele for 760 on bid, and I got this Alam for 670. So some really good flips with some of these icons, and I am, I'm pretty liquid, right? I've got a couple cards here on the transfer list. I honestly, I'm losing coins on. I just need to sell those. Couple of cards, lazy listing my fodder, uh, that I have here on the timeline as well. Um, and then we still have, I still have a decent amount of fodder that's in the club. So realistically, I'm still chilling at about, I think 6.7 million coins. If I were to do the math completely, we still have about 6.7 mil. So I'm feeling pretty good um, into this week. And I'm definitely gonna try to make some more flips with these wild card items because they're very rare. But again, the big news about today on FIFA is the 85 plus times 10. Now let's talk about Monday just for a quick second. Monday, the player SBCs are stopping. I think we'll get upgrade packs. Um, and then other than that, probably we'll continue on with these wild card swap token SBCs uh, because that's gonna be part of the content that continues on through this week. And I'm really, I'm slightly worried that besides like a re-release of an icon SBC, I know the base mid is expiring on Monday. Um, I'm a little worried that this week might become kind of dry content wise. And when you have weeks that are dry like this content wise, you usually have the promo cards getting to their lowest point on the weekend, like on Monday. Uh, and then you also have um, fodder kind of becoming a main thing, right? As people have nothing else to do but going and doing SBCs. So seriously, a, a little club stock on some fodder, if you, if you don't have any, uh, could be a, a little bit of a play. Um, and then for you guys that are holding on to fodder, hopefully no content, maybe uh, an icon SBC would kind of boost that higher tier icon market uh, fodder type range. And then you would see that fodder go up in price. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but we are kind of just waiting to see this 85 times 10 and the um, these rewards released today on this game. The mini release and potentially player icon player SBCs dropping today and then Monday upgrade packs. And um, I would believe, you know, I, I still think a party bag is going to come out at some point this weekend too. So um, whether it is today, whether it's tomorrow or during this next coming week. I think there's going to be a party bag involved. Um, it just it just seems like it has to be. Why would they drop it once and then not drop it again during a two week promo? So I would expect that coming this next week as well. Maybe by the time we're back with another YouTube video. So again, if you did not catch it at the beginning of the video, make sure you check the giveaway down below in the description if you have not signed up there. But it's going to be a fun weekend. Make sure you tweet me some of your 85 times 10 if you're opening them. 85 times 10 pack pulls. Those are going to be really interesting to see on this game today on Sunday. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.